Okay, quick video. Hopefully I can provide a link and Facebook will and Craigslist will allow me to post this, but this is the Jayco Hummingbird 17 RB, meaning the rear bath. This does come with a like a two foot by four foot folding table and storage for it. And you got the thermostat. There is a gas heater that's underneath there, as well as the air conditioner unit above. Um, the thermostat only controls the heater. Um, the thermostat for the air conditioner is above. There's plenty of lighting. You can see uh, this actually has, in my opinion, almost too many, but just lights everywhere. Um, you can turn them off and on individually. Or if you have them on, there is a master light switch. So that turns them all off or on. So you can just leave on as many as you really want. You don't really need, you know, all of these. But there are plenty. There are speakers inside and outside. The Furion Entertainment Center, which is a DVD player, AM, FM radio. It does acknowledge Bluetooth, has a USB port, an AUX in port. And then the TV, this does pull away right now. It's locked to the wall. It has to be locked during travel, but it comes out and can go face the dinette or come out and face the bed. So if you're sitting, laying in bed, it's fine. It's uh, very nice. Um, this is the escape window. And uh, these, of course, all these dark shades do raise up and it makes it very, very dark in here for sleeping, even when the sun is coming out. So... Remote controls for the Furion TV and for the entertainment center. And plenty of storage with the glass fronted cabinets. So plenty of good storage in here for a 19 foot camper. There's storage underneath these benches, both of them you can raise up. Now this one does have some electronics in the controls, circuit breaker and stuff. Um, I was gonna put in a fake bottom to kind of cover the wiring and then provide more storage. But other than that, we basically ignore this for now. You could probably put some blankets or something in there. The bed or the, the table goes down and does become another bed. Some people claim you could sleep too. If you had two kids, maybe other than that, you could get one adult on here or a good sized dog. So um, let's see here. There is this nice built in kind of a rack for uh, spices or whatever. We keep soap and stuff on it. This is the slide out. And again, more storage up overhead here for plates and whatever. Again, glass front. Um, there's the two burner stove, the sink. This has been winterized, so I'm not going to turn anything on. Um, I did add one feature to this. Sometimes these Dometic refrigerators, freezers, this is what this is. Get the freezer section. Sometimes they don't cool as well as they should. Um, so what I've added was... But many people are adding, if you go to YouTube, you will find many videos of people adding extra fans. So I have a switch here. There are two additional fans in the exhaust section in the back of the camper on the outside wall that adds extra cooling to help this unit run better. This does run on AC 120 when you're plugged in, as well as gas, so it can run on propane as well if you're boondocking. Um, this microwave is a convection and a microwave. It's both. So that's a nice feature. So you can put a chicken or something in there. And since microwaves don't do so well, you can go ahead and convection oven it in there. So that's a nice feature that Hummingbird put in uh, since there is not a regular fixed oven. Additional storage down below here. And there is a charging port there. It's what the green LED is. So you can plug in your phone and, and charge that. I think that's about in here. Again, it's full featured. Yeah, I did cover that, the under seat. And here's the bathroom. It's full bathroom, compact, but does the job. Big storage in here. This goes actually all the way past through to the wall over here. So if you look in there, that goes all the way back. So a lot of good storage in here. Again, more lights in the bathroom, more than I think is needed. Oh my gosh, you got two of them in here. So we don't run all of them. Um, they've already got these hooks on. This is all put in by Jayco. The sink, under, under sink storage here, GFCI receptacle, and then the shower. I did put an aftermarket shower head on here. This one works a lot better than the one that came with it and conserves water better. So when, when we replace this with our own a new camper, a little bit bigger camper, I'm going to buy another one just like that from Amazon because I don't like the stock. Um, most, most stock shower heads are not very good. So got the vent here. This pops up. There is the electric fan. 
go ahead and provide some ventilation. This is covered, so you can leave that open during rain and stuff most of the time. So shower, shower curtain. And the other thing, this vent does have, we did add the cover for it. So when the vent is open, you can see there is, it's fully covered. So you can leave this open in the rain. There's no problem. So I put that on you know, last year. So we could leave it open and get ventilation all the time. And I think that's about it for the inside. Outside, we can't open the awning. This awning opens up about another two feet. It extends out pretty good, but as you can see, the camper next to us here at the storage lot doesn't allow us to do it. There is this storage unit here, which comes up to where the inside bathroom um, storage is. So this is where I personally keep everything to do with getting the camper set up. The power cord, the water hose, and extra extension cord, uh, anything to do with the, you know, for water connections, etc. I just keep in here. That's everything to do with getting the camper set up. There is this storage unit. I meant to open it and I didn't, but it, uh, it goes all the way across. Let me go and pause this. I'm going to add it. Okay, I did open it. Um, there is lighting in here, as well, which is needed. This goes all the way across the camper. It doesn't open on the other side is the only thing. So there's these perfect, um, these are rubber made. Actually, two of them stacked just perfect. There's four of them in there. And then we still have room, plenty of room in here for tools and things that I keep. So uh, leveling things, uh, this thing's for the campsite. Everything is here. Um, this is just a view kind of from outside. So you can imagine that uh, awning out another two feet or so. And it is adjustable here. So you can add a slope to it. If it's you know, slightly raining and you want it to drain off, that is possible. Um, there is the antenna. It does have also a directional antenna above that's you know could be rotated from inside yeah, and, shower. well okay i'm going to go over there oh with one other feature the tv inside does come off and it mounts here there is receptacles and here is the cable tv and satellite antenna outputs so you can tie this up and if you're outside you can watch the tv out here instead and the outdoor speakers which is easy to switch on the furion unit to bring it out does have the powered tongue jack i do have the propane tank off for winter storage and uh, get over here the water heater city water connection this here's the fill for the fresh water tank low point drains are underneath this is the section this is where i have the extra fans two extra fans in here run by that switch so this is where the refrigerator is Right, okay, power connection. If the, if the campsite you're at has cable TV or satellite, it would go into that jack. This is an outdoor shower with both hot and cold water and a shower head. Does have the full size spare. Does have the connection already inside. If you want to buy the backup camera Furion, you can buy those yourself and put them on. And it's a little bit dirty, I'm going to admit, because we are in a storage site with gravel. So, I think everyone's campers here are getting a little bit dirty on the dirty side. So anyway, that's the slide out. Now this is, I can't remember the name brand of this, but this is considered one of the top slide outs that, that is made. Very, very strong. I did see that on another video the other day. Um, but they did like this. It's supposed to be a very well made, very well designed slide out system. Doesn't go out far, but it gives you the room inside. These are Goodyear tires. This is was the upgrade to Goodyear. And let's see what else. Here's some of the, just the data. I'll take a photo of this too. So again, it's fairly lightweight. A lot of SUVs can tow this. See, these are very much in demand because of that. A lot of people don't want to have to have a truck. You know, an SUV is more useful to them. Yeah, there's the Goodyear sticker not holding up too good, but so the Goodyear tires it does have the side lights, which are actually very bright, surprisingly bright. Four stabilizer jacks on all four. Those are manual, but there is an adapter you put on your power drill and that this goes down in seconds. And again, you cannot use these. These are not leveling jacks. So a lot of people make that mistake. They love stabilizer jacks are something entirely different, a lot stronger and tied to the framework in a very specific spot. 
these just keep it when you get to your campsite and you level it using your tires, which is what you're supposed to do. This just stabilizes it so you walk around, it doesn't, the camper doesn't tilt or anything or kind of rock a little bit. And for us, it's worked great, no problem. So there is a gas hookup in the back right here. If you want to go ahead and get one of the bumper mounted gas grills, that's not a problem. There you go, hook it right up, you're in business. Step does collapse right in. And uh, again, this is the 17RB model. And there is the LED light strip. You can kind of see that running down the whole length. And there's a remote control for that. That can change color. You can change the color between all the, you know, all the most of the colors. And it will also then automatically change color. There are some different modes, kind of like a little light show. So it has a little bit of variety. So, okay, I th think that's about it. This is everything we got. And I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video.